So in today's session, we are going to learn about domain resource. Most of us will ignore about the domain resource in the starting of fire. So we are going to cover that simple and easy topic. Let's open Google. Type fire over here. When you land it into the page, just open the HL7 fire standard. And you can click on the resource types. You can uh, take any example. I'm just taking the patient uh, resource over here. And when you look into the structure, you have something like this. But when you really open any HL7 page format, you have a lot of things. So let's compare it by keeping side by side. That's amazing. Perfect. So you know uh, your resource type is patient. So is patient. But the next one you get it as identifier, which is nothing but this part. Okay, so the next one is active. It's nothing but uh, this part. That looks uh, good. That's not a problem. But what about all these details are about the ID, meta, the text, div, and all these details. So something fishy, right? So we even need to know what are all these details and why those are important for any FR resource. So that's our topic. So whenever we generally use any FHR resource, uh, we come into all these things and we'll try to scratch our heads why we are getting all these details over here. So the important thing is like for each and every object, we have a complex um, data type or simple data type like this the rectangle and the cuboid indicate them. Okay. But what about for the complete patient resource? Don't we have a data type? That is nothing but domain resource. So main point is like even for the patient resource, we have a data type. Not only for all the objects over here, even for the complete patient resource, we have the data type. We click on it, we'll be landing into this page. Okay. So when you land into this page, you can see it has again uh, complex and uh, simple data types. But yeah, the important topic is like we are going to discuss about domain resource now. Inside domain resource, you can see you have something like text contain extension. So we are going to open the narrative sections. Remember in the previous video, we were discussing about the narrative sections and why it was important. So we even opened a particular uh, website for narrative section. So if you watch the previous video, you will understand this. So we are opening this HTML, XHTML and looking into the narrative section. So let's go back to the topic and we'll look uh, this one by one step. Okay. Now let's try to understand where is text over here. We couldn't find anything with text. Okay, here it is, but we'll click on the narrative part. When you click on the narrative part, we can see status and div over here. So similarly, this part, you can give space and try to understand what it is. So this is nothing but the narrative part inside narrative has status and div. That's what it is. Even though in the initial structure, you might not see all this you can see directly identifier, but in the HL7, uh, sorry, fire JSON structure, you can see all these details before identifier itself. Let's go to the narrative part, status and div. So just let's comment out this particular thing. Status and div, we comment it as a narrative section. And this is very important because what are all the details in this particular part? You can see it's a big, big, big line those details are uh, populating it over here. So if we are building a website or using this particular fire message pull to the website, those details will be easily populated. So all details are in this particular single line. That's the reason uh, fire narrative section is very, very important. Now let's go to another step, the div. Okay, yeah, in the div section also we have this XHTML pattern. This is nothing but this particular tag. And even for the status code, uh, we have this, whether it's generated or whatever it is, the status has been mentioned. Now, even uh, I'm going to discuss about different types of codes. Uh, for example, uh, we have generated extensions additional, so only this should be populated, no other thing. When it's a code data type, we'll have a separate session for this. That's the reason it's generated, or it can be anything else like uh, MT or anything, so, but only this particular uh, field should be populated. Yeah, let's not confuse you. So we have, we have already uh, quoted about the narrative section. Just for making it clear, I'll just paste it once again. So, whole video will cover 
lot of other topics that's good then what about this resource uh, sorry id and meta let's go back one step and see uh, text is narrative and contained is nothing but resource i'll click on it here you can see here you can see id and meta this is nothing but the resource section okay what i'll do this is the resource section i'll just copy this comment for our understanding purpose i'll paste it on the top of this and i'll give it as res resource section so every section is uh, individually important for example uh, id here is that uh, articraft so you can see uh, we have an id and we have meta uh, data over here it's it's almost like a control id for a particular message can use as uh, whatever you it's required for when you compare it to that cell so we completed narrative section sorry resource section narrative section what about this particular part birth date and everything yeah not a problem and you might be asking there's id here meta here study there's id here meta here what about this implicit rules language why it's not there because the cardinality is zero to one if you want you can add this over here that's not a problem but as it is zero one easily understand I only mentioned this two objects okay not more than two to make it uh, easy because if I mention a lot of things you will get uh, lost okay let's go back one step and see yeah as we are in domain resource let's check as we completed uh, this two narrative and resource section let's see if we get anything with the extension okay, I'll click okay you are in the extension section you have a url and value find anything yeah absolutely you can see a url value date time over here so we'll just open the extension yeah you can see there's a url and value over here let's name this as an extensive extension section so everything is important and uh, we'll even update you in next videos why this url is important i'll just rename it as extension so by the url itself you, you can understand that for fire for particular codes there is has been already a standard developed so they are going to use the standard from this particular url so if you open the url that's actually a working url i'll copy it over here and i'll paste it that should open a uh, lot of things taking some time you they are already standards defined and it's going to act according to it that's uh, a problem now we'll go back to our extension section so as you know this three sections are covered this four sections are covered one two three. okay so yeah even we need to cover the other one and this one is nothing but the resource type it's a patient uh, resource type Sim similarly like a pit segment we call it as a patient but here uh, we call the resource type is patient let's go back step and you might see again uh, we covered narrative we covered resource we covered extension we covered resource narrative extension and we asking why don't we have modifier extension because again this is uh, zero it can be or it cannot be so I just removed it for our understanding purpose and everything uh, has been named as required go to back step actual structure of the patient resource you can see identifier here nothing but the main section okay the main structure so from here from here the actual uh, fire data stats so when you are looking in any any particular fire resource don't get confused with all those things this is nothing but the particular resource patient resource data type domain resource details so each and every domain uh, resource details has their own importance with the unique ID uh, narrative sections which actually gives this particular example I can show it right it has been formed and the extension section whatever required so it's again optional the extension section actual values will start from this particular part so that's the important of uh, domain uh, resource anywhere so if you find this uh, helpful you're getting confused initially why all these are coming that's good so even in my initial days when i was actually learning c plus plus 
so there used to be something like hash include studio dot h and i used to wonder my ninth standard why we got all those details but for everything there's a reason similarly there is a reason why we have this details in the fire the actual fire starts from here you can see the pattern is pretty common from here. and yeah even if you are covering next few videos and the previous videos you might have already understand what is uh, narrative section and uh, you are going to understand later further on. Thank you. Hope uh, we covered this uh, particular topic of domain resource.